as you can see i am in pixel experience rom with android 12 latest build there is a first build available with stable update i already made a video you can check out here and in this video we are doing some other rom flashing guide first let's turn off the device here goes power off later press the volume up button and power button simultaneously once the redmi logo appears you can remove the power button and here comes the orange fox recovery i am using this one the latest recovery go to this delete section here it's wipe actually and select this advanced wipe and select dalvik catcher system vendor data and swipe here to wipe later come back here and select the files where you have downloaded the files first flash the firmware here comes violet me u violet in global 12.5.1 this is the latest firmware available for redmi note 7 pro as you can see guys it will later again come back and flash the rom zip file which are you need to flash as you can see this is the spark s energized official january 20th build 2022 you can read here i guess okay it takes little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see rom zip file has been flashed later again come back to files here i mean where are downloaded the file same and find this one if crypt disabler v3 flash this also after every rom if you want to be decrypted like that okay that has been done now go into reboot here and you can skip this option if you want to format data using hd card you can do like that also this is the these are the differences and i'll go into reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method for particular rom wait until it gets for first time boot it takes a little bit of time wait for it as you can see this is the spark os logo appeared let's see in this video what all the bugs features and how is the battery life and what all the customization available and bgma gameplay everything will be seen in this video if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is sampati watching sampat samfax youtube channel and this is the spark os energized official for violet with 2022 1 january i mean january 20 latest build this is with 5th january 2022 security patch and this is the and at all available for redmi note 7 pro and the kernel used here is 4.14.2 double fire ryzen kernel has been used and this is the latest build and selling status is m forcing and build number you can check out here and i have been running the cpu throttling test for last five minutes you can check out here the maximum is 141 and average is 136 and minimum is 106 and cpu throttle to 95 percent of its maximum performance this is how the cpu throttling test and under the hood this is how the home screen you get and this is the app drawer you get and left swipe google no paints is available and let's see the dialer first here you will get a direct video call feature as you can see and i am using reliance geo here it tell also it should work and there is no call recording feature in this rom and into the home screen let's see if i press and hold here you will get home settings and widgets and wallpapers into the home settings you get like this options in general you can change plenty of options are given even you can change the theme from here ascent color also you can change from here icon packs also you can choose as you can see system icons like this you can change in the settings and home screen settings you get all the basic settings like icon size you can increase label size also you can increase app drawer also there are plenty of customization you can check out here and the launcher 12 is has been used as a main home launcher for this rom and coming to android 12 
widgets let's see whether those are available or not yeah it's available as you can say this is a cool new material you design based clocks are given for under 12 based custom roms this is also available in this rom spark energized os let's move into the quick settings panel this how this is a little bit different from any other aosp custom roms as you can see here you will get date and time information with this card view like this and there is a battery percentage left side and this is the actual quick settings panel and into the power button you get advanced restart button also which is a good thing to have this all the settings you get restart and power and if you want to edit you can edit from here some of the options are given in the quick settings panel and let's move into settings okay this all the settings you get basic network and internet and connected device into the apps you will get default apps you can choose from here if you want to use dialer as a true color like that and special app access also you can check out from here into the fireworks you will get all the customization from here for example themes from here you can change the monet engine you can use accurate shades or use wallpaper color those things are given colorfulness also you can adjust from 0 to 100 and brightness from 0 to 1000 has been given here extra themes also you can download as you can see for example i can pack i kept oxygen OS. if you want you can use any other i can packs also give a slocker picker you can change here as you can see some other are pre-installed color OS is also given give a slocker picker let's see whether i turned it on where it will show the difference i don't know let's see give a slocker picker okay this is how the settings you get you can change this also let me go back to fireworks and into the themes these all the settings you can change here you can read here material dismiss button also you can enable from here animation also you can keep by default it kept no animation you can change it over here battery estimate plenty of options are given in terms of themes you can check out and lock screen settings you get plenty here also you can enable the wallpaper zoom and charging animation fingerprint sensation vibration feedback and error vibration all you can adjust from here music visualizer has been also added here lava lamp automatic color line count sanity level and lines opacity you can enable or disable or adjust them from here into the status bar settings you get all the options basic options are given battery style you can choose here i kept a big circle you can choose the battery percentage if you want to hide it you can hide from here into the gestures you get tap to wake tap to sleep brightness control toggle torch when screen off volume rocker wave music control reorient keyboard casual control plenty of options are given in this rom into the misc you get toast app icon and show CPU information let me enable this as you can see it isn't available Sh screen overlay showing cpu information it's haven't showing this is a bug i have noticed in miscellaneous this option has been added but it's not working battery light is given in the miscellaneous settings cool and power menu you will get all these options advanced restart button you can enable or disable from here this all the customizations available in spark os based on android 12 for redmi note 7 pro into the sound settings you get all the basic settings and me sound enhancer is also given if you want you can enable and you can choose the headphone type and preset from here clear speaker is given touch vibration haptic feedback you can adjust from here just enable disable there is no option to increase the strength of the vibration from here into the battery settings this i want to show you battery usage it haven't get recorded i don't know for first boot i don't know why it is not getting recorded the battery life is very good in this rom you can use it as a daily driver definitely the performance and battery life is balanced in this rom this how the spark is and coming to display settings you get brightness level adaptive brightness is working fine as you can see i will manually adjust it to full screen timeout and dark theme let's see how it will look and there is option to theme the dark theme this is really important to make pitch black as you can see now it will become pitch black let me disable and enable again 
okay it is now pitch black condition as you can see the settings panel how it will looks in the dark theme this how the clock widgets everything will be changed in dark theme this is the app drawer and even the quick settings panel and this power button everything going to be changed in pitch black condition that's really important for me and do comment down in the comment section below if you guys also need this kind of theme color in dark mode and coming into like font size you can adjust from here it's already kept 100 percent if you want you can reduce or increase even display size also you can adjust from here smallest width and night light is also given let's see how it looks you can adjust the intensity also this is a cool thing i really like that dark theme that choosing the theme in the dark theme that's really really good in my opinion and screen saver is given if you want you can change from here as you can see default cutout and prevent accidental wake up and wake up and plug and ambient display those options are given in this room that's not a problem coming to accessibility menu and the 12 based accessibility menu is given in this room as you can see it's a handy feature to have in and 12 based aosp type of roms you can use the volume up and down and brightness without sliding the without sliding the quick settings panel and also without using the volume buttons you can toggle them using this accessibility menu isn't it cool guys do comment down in the comment section below switch access is given tackback is given launcher app is showing here accessibility font you can enable from here to get some more settings from launcher launcher has been used and extra dim and dark theme you can adjust from here also some of the settings you can check out audio adjustment also you can adjust from here coming into security you just get fingerprint unlock there is no face unlock or even the app lock is not pre-installed in this ROM location settings you get all the basic settings working fine and into the system and gestures gesture navigation and select the settings there is no yeah there is a option to increase the length and also the radius gesture navigation bar this is a very cool thing full points from my side for this customization basic things are very good in this room like dark mode and these gesture navigation and some of the customization are really really good in this room you can definitely try it out as a daily driver if you want to see and based custom room this could be a one of the best among the and for redmi note 7 pro even better than pixel experience i can say in terms of customization definitely and let's see the fingerprint unlock speeds here just tap unlock okay it's not fastest but still it's quick enough to unlock a smartphone and let's see the apps and first see the geekbench scores in this round how we will get and as you can see the single score is 489 and multi score is 1375 with the kernel used as i said before also linux 4.14.255 ryzen kernel has been used on this redmi note 7 Pro with snapdragon 675 it's very good score and 3d mark scores also i will be going to show you into the results and this is the 455 and 95 percent i have beaten and five percent you can check out here graphs and all this are the scores you get and uh, google go camera has been pre-installed in this rom if you want you can use any gcam ports there's a photo i captured and selfie camera also i captured it's good enough to use this camera if you want anything extra you can flash i mean you can install any gcam ports if you want you can even flash the anx camera to use Redmi note 7 pro default camera it's up to you whichever camera you want you can use and there is an app called game space if you enable this there are plenty of options you can see here dynamic mode you can adjust from here you can disable the automatic brightness and there are some options like answer call automatically this is a very handy feature to have and disable swipe gestures and even disable usb debugging by default if you are unable the gaming mode then it will enable i mean disable the debugging mode that's a really cool thing to have and let's see the speed test here what i get it's working fine as you can see it's pulling up to 40 45 like that i'm using 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi connection of geofiber and mobile internet is also working fine with 
फोर जी प्लस कैरियर अग्रिगेशन दो थिंग्स आई नवर फेस्ड एनी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड पेमेंट अप्लीकेशन लाइक दिस गूगल पे एंड वाट्सअप बोत आर वर्किंग फाइन बिकॉज द सेफ्टी नेट स्टेटस गेट पास लेट मी शो यू as you can see it get passed by default no need to flash magics or anything like if you want a route you can do it out and drm info here you get level 1 certifications as that you can watch all the audit applications in hd resolution that's not a problem in this rom i hope i explained everything let's move into bjm and see the settings and gameplay and coming to let me disable this volume first okay and coming to game settings let me go into graphics where it is okay here it is smooth plus ultra is given if you want you can use hd plus high also recommended is smooth plus ultra if you have any gfx tool or any file transfer method you can use that to enhance the gameplay using smooth plus extreme let me show you okay he is using sniper and this comes the volume i kept maximum no it's loud enough this gameplay is also smooth enough as you can see okay Okay, I'll come back. I hope you understood how is the gameplay, and also I'll show you once again the fingerprint unlock speeds. As you can see, it's pretty fast, and you can definitely try it out as a daily driver. And charging speeds are also normal, not late, and not too fast. Also, it's with 10 watt charger, it's same. And battery life also, as you can see, it's 67 percent. When I started, it's around like 70 percent, like that. You can check out and. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, give it a like. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.